Wednesday, my dudes. Happy Wednesday to me. I just smashed this perfume that I recently got because I've seen a few people post about it on social media, namely Jazz, and it smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge, which, oh my God, don't drop it. I own, this is my second bottle of it. It's almost out. I don't know if this is a conspiracy, but I swear this like runs out faster than I've used it. Like I don't, I haven't used it that much to be that low. And I'm like, is it evaporating? <laughs> because I keep all my perfumes in a dark space. Like it's not like it's out in the sun, but I swear this one just vanishes and it's so expensive. It's like my favorite scent ever. Anyway, this is like a dupe for it. It's more of a dupe than the cloud perfume. It smells pretty darn identical. I just smashed it, didn't I? <laughs> The amount of times my perfumes have fallen out of my cupboard and they've been okay, but this one decided to break. So did I literally just order another one? Yes. It is significantly cheaper than Baccarat Rouge, but anyway, that's a great start. But I thought I would run you through a little BTS of an influencer because that is what I am. I've done this before, I think, on my channel, and I'm pretty sure you guys really liked it, but I definitely have days where I'll do like get all of my filming done, basically a content day, and then I'll have days where I edit everything, where I kind of mix and match, depending on what I'm feeling. So I thought I would do things a little bit differently for me as well to switch it up because it's fun to do different things. My skin feels very dry today. And it might be interesting if you are interested in influencery things and how it all works. So this vlog is sponsored by White Fox and I'm gonna show you guys some pieces that I have from there. And I also need to get some stories for White Fox. I need to do a post and a TikTok as well because that is kind of in my contract, right? And also I know I recently did uh, another like clothing haul in my video. I really try to like space clothing things out because it can be very, very similar and like a lot of the same thing, but it just kind of worked out this way. So I apologize. Hopefully you guys don't mind. This video is sponsored by White Fox. My code with White Fox is XO, and that gets you 15% off the website. But I'm also gonna show you how I do the stories, maybe how I get a photo. I really would love to branch out and like not just take photos in my house. But since I don't really ever go anywhere, it's a little bit difficult. So that one might not happen today, but I also need to film a TikTok, which is kind of fun. So I need to think of kind of an idea to do for that. I really do like doing TikToks that are like, help me choose an outfit for a specific event or styling an outfit, but it'd also be cool to do maybe something different, but I don't know, there's only so much you can do with like 15, 30 seconds. What I like to do when I receive everything, I make sure I lack it all. If anything I need to exchange, I will do so. And I always like to hang everything up in one section of my wardrobe so I know I need to use that for content purposes. So this is pretty much all the clothes that I need to share with you guys and use for content. All nice and organized. This big t-shirt is also from White Fox. I feel like White Fox should totally come out with men's pieces because I gave my boyfriend one of my White Fox shirts and he loves it. He wears it all the time and I feel like they could just do some really cool men's things. So there's an idea. But I love White Fox graphic tees. I like them because they're quite thick. They're so perfect to wear to the gym. You really can't go wrong. Before I show you anything else, I'm just going to quickly pop on some makeup because I always generally like to have a bit of makeup on when I shoot content. Just makes everything a little bit easier. Particularly when it comes to photos and stuff. It just makes everything look much better. And I think for my hair today, we're going to have to slick it back because it's just looking a little bit worse for wear. But I'm going to speed this part up because you've seen it a million times. reason I was like faffing around changing my earrings and some of them are like flatbacks. I do like flatbacks but they are so hard <laughs> to get in your ears and I don't even have nails on at the moment. They're just looking so much longer than usual but I'm just gonna have a quick snack. My obsession at the moment is honey on a rice cake with some cottage cheese. I'm gonna pee and then set up to start getting some stories. Luckily, it's a nice day today, which is good because we want good lighting. What I tend to do is I have my mirror here that I use for most of my clothing or anything where I want to take a mirror selfie for content, you know? Very professional. And I kind of just lean it like that. 
and so the lighting when I stand here is like perfect it's the most accurate it's just a really good spot non shoe item I got I picked up some slippers I got the black pair last time and I love them I love them because they're like a little bit platform I got a size 8 this time if you remember they're definitely a snug fit probably didn't need to go a size 8 because honestly they kind of like flatten anyway so I would suggest to size up just one size and you'll be fine but I still I love the color I think they're so cute my boyfriend and I are actually going on a little trip to somewhere very cold soon for our one year so I'm definitely bringing these I think what I'm going to do first of all are the pants. So, and I've got, yeah, I've got a lot of pants actually. All right, I got this skirt. I hated these for so long, but they've grown on me like most trends do. Would you call it a maxi skirt? Like a maxi denim skirt? I think it's a really nice fit. This is one of the pieces that I originally got in an extra small and it was way, way too small. So if you think you're my size, go with a small. Now I need to find a top to pair this with. I, I think it might be a little bit too low on me, but I love the combination of like this top and the skirt. I do think it's really cute. If I have a bit of like a platform shoe on, I think we'll be fine. Please let me know if I suit this because I'm honestly not sure. I think because it's different, I'm just not used to it. So quick tip, whenever you take a photo on your back camera, always wipe the lens because it makes such a big difference. Now I'm going to take a video of the skirt. Next, we have a pair of jeans. I got a couple low-waisted jeans, which kind of scare me because I honestly don't know if I suit low-waisted things. That is what they look like. Could do with a hem. My all-time favorite pair of jeans are from Whitebox. I wear them to death. I love them so much. I just find that they fit really, really well. These I had to get in an extra small. I normally get all my jeans from Whitebox in a small, but these ones were just way too big. So definitely recommend to size down in these because they're definitely like a little bit more oversized. I think these are like a boyfriend vibey jean. They remind me of the jeans that I have from Whitebox that I love. They're quite similar. I also got this little bralette to wear under a different shirt, but I actually love how this fits. I feel like it's very, very flattering and it's just a very Birds. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm honestly not that much of a bra wearer, but I like this. This is the shirt that I got. Oh, let me not get makeup on this. By the way, this is the world's best hack for putting on a shirt if you've got makeup on. I get a shirt, usually turn it inside out, and you kind of put it over your head, put the shirt on, and then voila, you don't get makeup on it. Oh, I like this. This is so different for me. No, this is cool. Oh, I like it. I feel like it just adds like a really cool spin to the top. Yeah, I really like that. That's so cute. This is like my go-to stance. Like hip out, one leg out. I love this. It's like so dressy, but it's so simple. This is like the epitome of like pants and a cute top. This is a cute top. And it's like that slinky material. I really love this. These are probably just a hair too big for me, but they're just that cargo pant vibe. Probably could size down in these ones, but at the same time, they are kind of that like loose moment. I love this workout top. I think this is so flattering. It's so smooth. It's got a little bit more coverage. It doesn't like dig in anywhere weirdly. I think this is so pretty. I've actually already worn this to the gym. I love it. I love the color. I think it's so flattering. Such a winner. And these pants, probably the most comfy pants I've ever put in my body. They definitely need to be hemmed because they are a little bit long on your girl, but they're that like super, super soft jersey, comfy fabric. And they're kind of that like yoga pant, how they fold down. They make your bum look really nice. Is this not the cutest freaking thing you've ever seen in your life? I feel like I'm going to a field of sunflowers. This is a dress that I got originally in an extra small and I need to get a small because it's kind of that fabric that's got no give, but this fits perfectly and I feel like it's not too long because sometimes these dresses can hit me in a really awkward length because I'm short. It's so pretty, it's got lining. This is like the ultimate spring dress. Second last, I picked up a hat. Not much to say about a hat, but she's really cute. Can't really put her on at the moment, but I'm sure I will wear it to the gym at some point in this video. I love white fox hats. They fit my head really well. The shape of them is the type of hat that looks cute because there's some hats that look 
not good. And then finally, I picked up this bodysuit. I was a little bit nervous because I feel like there's a lot of room for error with bodysuits, just in terms of the, what's the word, like the measurements and stuff. But this is so cute! Ah. It fits really, really nicely. I feel like it fits my body really well. I think it's so cute. It's really comfy too. I love the neckline. I think that is really flattering. I think it looks cute with the, the slippers as well. So that is everything filmed for the vlog integration. And thank you to White Fox for sponsoring this vlog. My code again is ConnorXR and that gets you 15% off White Fox. Usually what I do after I film try on clips is I'll have a bit of a break. It's now 12 17. So I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna import this footage into my laptop so it's kind of ready to go. I don't think I'll start editing it yet, but that was kind of like the main thing that I needed to do today. But I've still got the photo to do. I've still got the TikTok to do. I also have another set of stories for a different brand that I'm not sure whether I'll film today. We'll see how we go. But I'm gonna go make some food now because I am hungry. I also need to charge my camera because my camera does not last very long when I film in 4K. So... Thursday. I just finished getting the post and the TikTok. I've just filmed some clips because I think what I've decided on for the TikTok is I'm gonna do like a POV. You don't have a style or you you can't decide on an aesthetic or something and have three like very different types of outfits. And then I actually really really like the pictures I got. I was a little bit frustrated at the start because I was wearing a different outfit like it was like jeans and a baggy top which for me is like really hard to take a photo in without it just looking bad and I decided to put on some makeup because it's just so much easier when it comes to getting a photo. So I use an app called Lens Buddy which I have mentioned on my channel before. It is so helpful because if you use just the timer feature on an iPhone it takes like one photo or may maybe you can set it to a burst but the Lens Buddy app will take multiple photos with a five second time in between. And it's really helpful. So Lens Buddy. And then once I get all my photos on my phone, I kind of go through them. I will favorite the ones that I like and kind of declutter it because I cannot deal with having photos on my phone that are just like not good photos that are going to be deleted anyway. So I have to get rid of them. I ended up taking photos in the yellow dress because I just think it's so pretty and sweet. That is the post done, so I've sent that through with a caption for approval. And yeah, now what I did is I set my phone up um, at my front door and I've like taken videos of me posing in the different outfits and I'm gonna put it all together. I personally prefer to edit on my laptop because I find it much quicker. I think it's just because I'm used to using a laptop to editing videos, but CapCut is also really good and what's the other one people use? InShot? And it shouldn't take me too long to edit, so... I'm just sitting outside and then I need to send away the story frames for approval as well anytime you do like a brand collab 9.9 .9 times out of 10 you send the content for approval not always but most of the time oof she's windy today good morning happy Friday I'm finally starting to like be in the phase of feeling really good like being at the peak of your cycle highly recommend if you have a uterus to learn all about your cycle because you can feel really shit about yourself if you think why am I feeling like this why do I have no energy if you know that it is the particular time of the month when you are in perhaps your luteal phase it kind of takes away that guilty feeling I'm currently starting to be at the end of my period so the good endorphins are coming <laughs> I can feel it I also went on a run this morning and I think this is my first 10k run since the half marathon which kind of sounds sad to me because I'm like oh my gosh I've only I haven't run more than 10k since the half marathon it felt really really good this morning I got to eight and a half and then I was like well I may as well do 10 <laughs> makes sense because why follicular phase I'm gonna make some pancakes for a late breakfast I'm gonna do my recipe but I'm gonna change it slightly because I'm gonna do kind of half the amount of oats and then more protein powder just to see how the texture goes might be a little bit more protein I was gonna film a reel for this and like make a little recipe but I realized that I've already made a pancake reel, so. Um, let's do this, shall we? Stunning. One egg. One egg white, preferably a large egg white. 
Okay, I'm going to use whey protein today. I don't have whey protein very often because it does make me break out if I consume a lot of it. But my boyfriend got this when we went to Costco and it tastes really good. And I just want to try it in my pancakes. Yeah, normally I stick to pea proteins because it just it's better for my skin. But I'm going to have it today. It is so fun. Um, and it's cookies and cream flavored. We're going to do a banana. We turn it into something bigger. Um, almond milk. Make sure you shake your almond milk. We do 60 mil. Bingo. 20 grams of oats. 25 grams of the big daddy over here. It smells good. Perfect. The difference in how I feel now as to how I felt on like Sunday is wild. I feel like a different person. It's also probably the high from my run. Which is a reason that I should run because it makes me feel good. Get some of these rasps that I got from Costco. Look at the size of that. I think we've got a bad raspberry. So, we got a new pan. So, she's gorgeous. And the pancakes don't stick. Bit of oil. Always spray the oil away from the flame. Test pancake. She's quite thick. Oh yeah, that looks like pancake batter. Sometimes I do these ones just to like flatten her out a bit. Let her prime the pan. All right, she's ready to flip. This is too small. Get out of there. Oh, garlic butter. Oh no, I'm gonna have to put my knife. Not by yet, unless my skin becomes really better. I can still be involved, even if there's no room in the suitcase. Clothes, <laughs> goodies from the. I feel like it made less than it normally does, but let's give her a taste. They look good. They smell good. They taste pretty much the exact same. Maybe they're a little bit sweeter, like you can taste the protein more because there's more protein. Mm. I think they're a little bit softer, to be honest. Yeah. Good evening. 
it is currently 6 30. my boyfriend and i have come on a little date night i feel like we haven't gone on a date in such a long time and it's just like a really nice thing to do when you're in a long-term relationship it's important to keep dating your partner obviously not everything has to involve spending money or going out to you know eat food but just doing things together that are not just sitting together on your phone or whatever like taking time to have quality time together it's so important so we actually came to mini golf on our second date so this is kind of like a little nostalgic thing for us um hopefully it's not too crazy busy because i think everyone's at the echo so let's go oh jump oh <gasps> no way if they're winning off a jump Oh. Give me the Tiger Woods shot. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Action shot. I'm going really well. Oh. I think that's gone into the other side. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Yes. <gasps> boot, boot, boot. Good afternoon. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm getting my nails done. They look very tragic right now and I've decided to start Builder in a bottle. I think it's kind of like a gel that's a bit stronger, but it basically is much better for your nails. And even though I love acrylics, I love the long nails, I just keep banging them a lot lately, especially with like gym and stuff. And I just thought, you know, it might be just time to try builder in a bottle so that's what I'm doing tomorrow but what I've been doing for probably the last like six or so months is doing my own pedicure or doing my own gel nails on my toes it lasts so well it's weird whenever I do it on my fingers like the at home gel it will peel off in like a day but when I do it on my toes it honestly lasts for like three months at a time or however long I wait to redo it. I don't think I could ever get a pedicure because I'm too ticklish and the idea of someone touching my feet just freaks me out a bit. So I'd much rather do it myself, but I always have to have my toenails painted at all times. Your index toe is that what it's called. They are in trouble because that is the toe that gets destroyed from running. That's just a fact of life. Your toes are probably gonna get a little bit destroyed if you run a lot it saves me so much money too because all of this i think was like 50 dollars, and it'll last me for probably over a year to be honest i got a top coat and did i get two top coats i swear i thought one of these was a base coat one of these is supposed to be a base coat but they both say top coat that's all right i've already got um a base coat anyway okay now i've got two top coats i really like the packaging of this i also got a new like cuticle trimmer i usually paint my toenails white i tried to paint them yellow recently but i just used a normal polish and i didn't like it so i thought let me just order some more gel colors those are the colors i do miss doing my own nails because it was such a therapeutic thing for me but it's time to get builder. I wish I could show you me doing my toenails, but I also don't want to put my feet up close on camera onto the internet. It's not really my jam. That is so much brighter than I thought it was going to be. Do you see that? I think I need to do like the pink or red. I constantly have white toes. Pink or red? I'm kind of leaning towards red. It is almost 9 a.m. and I have a meeting with my functional nutritionist because if you know I've been seeing a functional nutritionist mainly for my skin and just like my gut health and everything. When did I start seeing her? I feel like it was March actually so it's been quite a while. The skin side of things are pretty much perfect and in terms of like my digestion and bloating I think everything is really good too. The thing I think we're probably going to talk about in this session is my period pain because I had a really really bad cramping the last period <laughs> clearly in the vlog and I had really bad PMS so and then afterwards we're going to go to the gym and then I'm also getting my nails done today. 
I also painted my toes yesterday. I want to be able to show you, but I don't want to like put my toes on the internet because that'll probably end up on some weird foot page. But it looks so good. I really, really like the the bright pink. I think it looks so cute. Good morning. Good morning. How are you going? I did have my period last week and I did get like pretty bad cramping. Okay, yeah, that's helpful to know. Yeah, where mm. we can make some tweaks and mm -hmm. what. Something about you supernatural. I get goosebumps every time you call. Got me running through my fantasies. 40 West, I'm doing 93. Tell me where the sparks come from. Don't know that we both bring. Okay, I have just driven to my nail appointment. They've looked worse, they've definitely looked better. So we'll see. I don't really have a plan. Like, usually I have an idea of what I want, but I think I'm just probably gonna get a very neutral color, no design or anything. And thank you so so much for watching. I'm currently marinating in some tan um, because I have a very exciting event on Thursday that I'm going to Sydney for. Also, these are the nails. I'm obsessed with them. They're so simple and like they feel so clean. I got a very like milky white color. Hopefully, I didn't get like tan on them. We are starting my little builder in a bottle journey today. But anyway, thank you guys so so much for watching. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Superstitious with a blind of faith When we disappear and levitate Now I know where the sparks come from One touch I was so far gone Still something that I can't explain Lately no I'm not the same You're just like me